A new team for 2015, Frenchman Nicolas Mahou and Pierre Hughes Herbert have burst onto the double scene this year. After making the Australian Open final in January, they became the first French doubles team in history to win the US Open. It is a special feeling. Uh, I remember once when uh, Le Comte and uh, Noah played the final and they were really close to, uh, to win this. It's uh, kind of uh, special to be the, the first one. So uh, we hope we're going to have some more success in the future. Very impressive. I mean, they almost won the Australian Open, uh, just missed out on the final there against uh, Bolelli and Fognini. So uh, at the US Open, they. Uh, they won their final, and uh, yeah, it was a, a great day for France. I think uh, French have a great setup. Uh, we all know about French players, they're super talented. They're not that predictable. They can come up with any shots at any time. I think they deserve to be where they are right now. So I feel like they're getting better and better. Although they only teamed up at the start of the year, they clicked immediately. Still, there is more work to be done if they are to remain amongst the elite. I think we have grown a lot uh, this year as a team because uh, it's actually our first year, so everything was brand new at the beginning of the year. We had one small problem, it was my injury at Marseille. It stopped us a little bit in our rise, I, I would say, uh, this year. But uh, yeah, it took a little bit of time since, uh, since I came back, and we're playing uh, better and better every week, so I think yeah, we've, we've grown quite a bit. Clearly a natural fit. The strength and youth of Herbert, mixed with the experience and guile of Mahou, have resulted in some thoroughly impressive performances. Herbert is the, is the young, explosive kid. You know, you, you see him kind of like a, like a Jack Sock, where he's got the huge kick serve, a lot of explosive tennis in him, and then Mahou is more the, the professional who's had a lot of, you know, really solid results over a long career and kind of helps rein Pierre in, and together they make a really strong team. Mahou, though, everybody knows, he's a great serve and volley player in singles as well and in doubles. He has made a few Grand Slam finals before. He has all that experience. He's played with some big guys. And I think uh, he just knows he's a great doubles player. I think uh, with his experience, he's helping the young kid as well. But uh, hats off to Herbert. He's been, I think, handling the pressure really well for a new kid on the block. I think it's just a French mentality. They're really relaxed. They're enjoying their tennis. You see them practice also. They're hitting crazy shots in the practice. And when it comes to the match and the, I think, crunch moments, they're just loose and relaxed and they believe in themselves together. The, the first thing is we're a really good friend. We have to, uh, I mean, we have to work on the court, but we have to uh, know each other off the court. This is, uh, this is, to me, really important uh, when you want to build a team. And uh, we spend a lot of time together. We're a team that is difficult to break because we're both serving quite well, and uh, yeah, it's quite tough to, to break us. And and after, when you don't get broken, you have many chances to to win the matches and I think that's one of our uh, main uh, strengths. Having qualified for the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals, the Frenchmen are relishing the chance to compete in London and to finish their inaugural year in style. It's going to be a new experience for me, I, ne I never had it. It was a goal for us since the beginning of the year and after Australia, Australia we said, yeah, we have a good chance. It's going to be just great to to be in London and I hope we'll, we'll stay fit the whole win winter and we'll, we'll be able to play. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we're indoors in Europe with all the action from Vienna, Moscow and Stockholm. And the latest member of the Top 10 Club, we catch up with South Africa's Kevin Anderson. Don't forget to log on to the all-new ATPWorldTour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.